What is going on everyone? Trust the Buzz here. If you are new to the channel, I make daily Charlotte Horns content. So if that interests you, make sure you go ahead and hit that subscribe button because that is the best way you can support the channel and it makes me happy. So uh, thank you for doing that. And um, if you cannot tell by the thumbnail or the title of this video, in today's video, I'm going to be talking about why the Hornets are in purgatory. So uh, this is, I know I said that, I think, I don't know if I said it in a video, but I know I said it in a comment that I really don't want to talk about the Miles Bridges thing anymore just because it's just frustrating one that he would do that um two it's just obviously wrong um i just don't you know i don't a lot like that it's crazy to me but anyway and then also it's just like it's really tough because even though like she released pictures and even though like the police report it's still just so much like it's i don't want to say anything and then be like wrong like if i talk about basketball and i'm wrong all right but did but even being wrong could really hurt somebody like you know offend them and make them you know so i just don't want to do that at all so that's why i really don't want to talk about the actual situation um so yeah we don't condone that over here but i'm just saying like i don't want to talk about it because like it's not like being wrong about basketball you know so it's much serious it's bigger than basketball but that situation did leave the Charlotte Hornets in purgatory, and that's what I want to talk about today. So a lot of you may be wondering why the Charlotte Hornets have not done anything besides sign Cody Martin, and it took them forever to even do that. So this is just what I've seen. I'm not I'm not a lawyer. I'm not I don't work in legal at all. Like I don't know. So if you do work in legal, if you do know, I mean, if you just even know better than I do, please let me know down in the comment section below. But what I've just seen a lot is that the reason that the Charlotte Hornets have not really made a move in regards to Miles Bridges. It's not as simple as just, you know, rescinding the offer, uh, the qualifying offer, and then move on. Uh, if the Hornets do that prematurely, um, to my knowledge, like I said, I'm not a lawyer or anything, but if the Hornets do that prematurely, it allows them to be able to be sued if for whatever reason something else happens. And so this is the scenario I'm going to give. I'm not, this is not facts at all. I feel like I have to say that or somebody will say it's facts or something like that. But let's say for whatever reason, um, his Miles Bridges wife tells, you know, drops the charges, things like that. And then it, the Hornets already cut him from his money. His, from my understanding, his team can come back and sue the Charlotte Hornets or the NBA or something like that. And then probably the Charlotte Hornets would have to pay him because the charges were dropped and they prematurely like cut him and things like that. Because so, basically if the charges are dropped, nothing ever happened, you know? So if the charges are dropped and the Charlotte Hornets already cut him before they even found that out, then his team can come back and sue the Charlotte Hornets or NBA or whatever and get compensation for that. So to my understanding, the Charlotte Hornets just want to be careful and just kind of see this thing through. I don't think it's to see this thing through to bring him back for those of you who do feel the way I do and are like, you know, that's a no-no, don't have him on the team. Um, so I don't think it's like they're even thinking about bringing him back. I think it's more so of that where they don't want to make the wrong move to where they're susceptible to being sued or being oh, just all kinds of legal words that I don't know. Just it would just fall back on the Charlotte Hornets and they would still end up having to pay him, you know, a uh, significant sum. So I think they're just trying to do their due, due diligence. I know that we always get on Mitch Kupchak because he does things very slow. Um, and that's just the front office as a whole. They just do things really slow. But in this particular case, I think they have to play their cards slow just because of the fact that you want to see the thing through. Because if you don't, it may, it could just even be worse than what it already is. So I don't think that they're not trying to do anything just because, you know, we were the Tempsey. I know a lot of like outlets and stuff are like, the Charlotte Hornets weren't doing anything and they were the Tempsey last year. That is true. And while it's frustrating, it's it, it just in the position we're in. I just don't see how they can make any moves until this is settled somehow. So just, I don't, I, it's tough because I'll be the first person to call out this team. I will. I know I seem overly positive. That's for the camera. I, I usually am really mad at this team, but I just don't really, I can't expect him to really do anything without that being figured out. I will say that the re-signing of Cody Martin to, you know, the, the four year, $32 million, eight, you know, basically $8 million a year deal is a sign, kind of, in my opinion, that they are going to move away from Miles Bridges. I'm not saying they're, they're I mean, they were going to bring them both back regardless, but I feel like the, how much Cody Martin was paid was a sign that in the fact that it was just a move in general i think it's a sign that they're kind of getting closer to understanding what's going on with miles bridges and kind of feel more comfortable you know shifting and moving things around so i don't expect any trades until it's figured out i mean I hopefully it's we don't have to wait till july 20th i believe it is this is court date to figure out what to do you know for the rest of the team but that may be just the reality of it 
like I said, I do see the Cody Martin as like a small slither, you know, silver lining that there are other moves to come. They're getting to the bottom of this and they're feeling more comfortable with moving forward and doing whatever they need to do on the back end. But yeah, just for once, I say don't, you know, hate this team yet. I feel like they're just, their hands are tied and that's kind of the situation that's going on. But like I said, I don't know. If you know, if you know better than me or you're a lawyer or anything like that, please let me know down in the comment section below. That's why, like I said, this whole thing is just rough to even talk about because there's so much speculation. But on the basketball side of things, like I said, I have no problem with being wrong whatsoever. It is what it is. And that's personally, like, even though it's a mixture of both, that's personally what I think is going on with the Charlotte Hornets is that they just right now cannot make a move. They're not comfortable making a move because you make one wrong move, not only is this offseason bad, but forever is bad. So I don't blame them for doing their due diligence. But yeah, that does it for this video. That is video two of the day, I think. I told you all in the previous video, I'm going to do three videos today because I missed Saturday because, you know, newlywed, everybody wants to see the happy couple. So had to make our rounds and drive and travel and things like that. But I am back on it today. So y'all get three videos today. And uh, the next video, I think I'll tell you since it's the last video, I'll be just talking about the summer league roster and things like that. So uh, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in like a couple of minutes because I'm recording these all at one time. Peace.